Skiers looking for a sense of history and a more natural ski experience should visit the Northern Adirondacks near the town of Lake Placid, New York. The first ski mountaineers in North America skied the Adirondacks and Greater New England. These winter enthusiasts searched for and made new routes throughout the mountains near Lake Placid. The result is a fantastic variety of classic ski trails where you can experience the origins of alpine skiing in North America. The eastern and western region of the High Peaks area in, in Lake Placid is a skier's paradise. You go up there during the winter time and you skin or snowshoe in there. There's lean-tos to stay at everywhere. It's not as exposed as skiing something up high on Mount Washington or something like that, but it's, they're, they're great places to go to, to have a more mellow experience. You throw everything on your back and you just hike out into the wilderness. You know, you ski back down, sleep there, wake up the next morning and rinse and repeat. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's what they did back in the day. It's, it's like, you know, there's so much more to backcountry skiing and, and ski touring in the woods and on the, in the mountains than, than just skiing this, this hardcore terrain. It was probably the coldest I've ever camped in the winter in my life. And, you know, when I woke up, it was about zero degrees. Everything was frozen. Water was frozen. Olive oil for cooking was frozen. My boots were rock hard. I felt like I was gonna break my ankle getting into my boots. you're skiing these trails these guys cut back in the 1930s you're just kind of going with the flow and where the mountain dips you dip where the mountain turns you turn you know you're skiing powder you're skiing natural snow it doesn't matter that it's not a 45 50 degree slope you're skiing these tight windy little trails that go through the woods that definitely invoke a sense of skiing history in the area where trails back then were were kind of cut with the flow of the mountain and followed the fall lines There was no one out there, except for like me and my friend. It was very challenging. It was very, it was very cold. It was, uh, but it was well worth it. You know, our skiing ancestors didn't learn to ski on man-made snow, riding lifts. They went out into the woods, onto the mountains, and skied the natural stuff on skis they made by hand. And while I'm not making my skis by hand, I still feel that connection to the history of the sport where our skiing ancestors were we're, we're skiing um, uh, in a completely natural environment, a completely natural experience. I think that's kind of one of the things I'd like to recreate as I go out there, is to, uh, to, to feel that connection. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. The full movie that this clip is from is available on Tubi TV for free right now. You can watch it, it's called Altitude Adjustment. If you want to support what I'm doing, you can head over to my website and purchase my newest documentary, or just sign up for my newsletter and find out when new blog posts and other videos become available.